Hey, welcome back everyone. In this video, I will be installing the spotlights that I bought for the KLR. I'm gonna install the relay, the wiring, and the button to turn the lights on and off. That wiring is also going to supply power to the heated hand grips that I'll be installing in a later video and the power ports. Installing the gasket on the air filter access cover. And now we're going to install that on the air box. Now I'm removing the negative cable on the battery so I can install the battery holder. This is the overflow for the acid battery. Since the battery I installed is sealed, I do not need this, but I figured I'd leave it here in case someone ever installs a uh, OEM battery. It's gonna carry power from the relay all the way up front so I can install the lights, heated grips, power ports, I bought two of these spotlights and I do need to add some wiring to them so they reach up to the switch so I'm adding about two feet of wire for uh, each spotlight I'm mounting the spy lights on each side onto the engine guard. 
I notice it's not an ideal position for them, but at this point, this is the only spot I have where I can mount those. In the future, I may move them. Running the wiring up the frame and into the area where all the connections are going to be made. Here is the relay. This is a 30 amp relay. It's a little overkill for what I need it for, but I will be changing out this 30 amp fuse for a 10 amp fuse. I only need 10 amps to power the circuit. I have it connected to a circuit, so when the key turns on, it actuates a relay, sending power to the front. So how this works, black goes to your negative on your battery, Red goes to the positive on your battery. Blue is the positive going back to the accessories and white is the positive that turns on with the key which activates the solenoid. The wiring harness that I put together earlier comes from back here, the relay. Goes all the way up front underneath the tank and ends right in this area. Here's the switch. Now to install the switch, I had to cut a half inch hole in the dash, place the switch in there, run the wiring and everything has quick disconnects in case I need to replace the switch or disconnect something in the future. Right now the lights are wired up with the switch and the power. If I hit this button, the lights do not come on because the ignition switch is off. Once I turn that switch on, switch is lit up and the lights are actually on at this time so the thing about the relay is if i forget to shut those lights off at the switch here it's okay because once i shut the ignition off it shuts the power off to the accessories that are going to be running off this main line so these extra wires here are for future stuff like the heated hand grips and the power port which is going to be right here in this area for stuff like gps and phone charging i'm going to call it quits for today it's been a long day i didn't show you all the wiring and the terminals going on because i figured that's probably stuff that you already know uh, but basically i made my own wiring harness running power from that relay to the front here to power up all these accessories that i have and if i forget to turn something off it's okay because once I shut the ignition off, it shuts everything down. Hence why I have the relay. All right, that's all I got for today. Any questions, comments, put them down below. And as always, God bless. Please ride safe.